In the waters near Oban, they're bringing in the catch. Lobster, crab and prawn. Most of their haul goes to dinner plates on the continent and skipper Neil McQueen is bound by EU rules to record his catch. The logbook on his boat, a daily reminder of Europe's influence. He's worried about his business suffering if the UK pulls out. I look at it that it could be another layer of bureaucracy, export licences, export tax possibly, and uh, the ever-present exchange rate, you know, that's, the, that's my concerns. Concerns shared by his crew, unsure how their working lives might be affected. As we checked the catch, they told me they plan to vote for staying in the EU. I'm always open to hearing different arguments, different points of the view, but at the moment I think I'm pretty set on staying now. I can't see us leaving, really, you know, like that's my prediction, but it, it just seems just seems like a wild change, um, you know, a big, huge change for the future. On this boat, then, they hope the future sees them sail forward just as they are. But we didn't have to look far for currents pushing the other way. I know 99% of fishermen will be voting out. In Oban Harbour, a very different view from a skipper who wants to leave. EU quotas at the forefront of his mind. We're making less than we did 20 years ago, which is worse. Definitely. Do you see this referendum as a golden opportunity? I think so. Uh, for the fishing industry, I think on, on the whole for, for everybody. They're unloading the catch here, getting ready for market. And for one man with his own fleet of boats hoping to leave the EU, there are no fears about an impact on jobs or trade. We've got a product second to none, good Scottish UK product, and I have full confidence that we can remove ourselves from Europe and continue to produce the quality seafood and that we do, and we will sell it, no bother. On the harbour side, the first sales of the local catch. They look beautiful. Mouth-watering stuff. As we've seen here, many minds are already made up. For the in and out campaigns, the job now is to tempt the taste buds of the undecided. Peter Lane, Five News.